So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you an app that's going to block the third party ads that you use on your Fire Stick or your ONN device. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to go ahead and download it, how to set it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So again, like I say, a lot of people went ahead and they told me that they need something that's going to block the third party ads when they're watching their favorite movie or TV show, especially when you're using your third party apps, for example, BTV or cinema. Okay, you're always getting that ad and then you gotta hit the back button. But with this app that I'm gonna show you to use, you don't need to worry about it. It's going to block the ads now please remember only works with third party apps like the two i just mentioned not gonna work for youtube not gonna work for hulu disney plus paramount plus not gonna work for any of those okay only your third party apps so here i am i'm on the fire stick 4k max second generation what you need to do is make sure you have the one app that everybody should have by now and it's called downloader if you don't, you go over to the left where the magnifying glass is or the search, click on the letter D, come on over, click on Downloader, give it a few seconds, right on need apps and games is the icon Downloader. Go click on it, let the page go ahead and change, download your own it, click it again, give it a few seconds to go ahead, download and install. After it goes and it downloads and installs, now you get where it says Open App. We don't want to do that yet. What we need to do is go ahead, click on the home button on our remote, go over to the right to where the gear is. Once we get to the gear, or some people call it the cog wheel, come on down to where it says My Fire TV. Click on My Fire TV, go down to Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and click Downloader to turn it on. This way it allows you to bring in other apps that we want to go ahead and download. Now let's go and click on that home button. Now, once we have downloader, we need to open up downloader. Let's go over to the three squares and a plus sign, also known as your apps. Click it, give it a few seconds, open up. Remember, anytime you download something, it's always gonna be at the bottom. Let's go down to the bottom, click it, let it open up, say okay. Come up to the top where it says enter a URL or a search term or a shortcut code. Click on your enter button and you want to type in 218330. This is going to be the code for the time for streaming web page. Give that a few seconds to redirect itself and then we'll go ahead and move on. Once the time for streaming web page comes on up, let's go over to the top. Let's go over to where the three lines are. Click that enter button on the remote. Let's come on down to where it says downloads. Click it. Give the page a few seconds to change. Okay, I was a little bit too far down. So let's go back over again. Let's click on the three lines. Come on down to where it says downloads. Click on downloads again. And this time we should go ahead and go right in. Here we are, we're on downloads. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Keep going down. And you wanna go ahead and you wanna find right here, ad blocker downloads. The one you wanna click on is called ad guard. Let's click it, give it a few seconds, it's going to download. Once it brings in all the information, let's go on to install. Now, once it installs itself, you don't wanna open it, you wanna click on done. Let's give that a few seconds to go ahead and install. Now that it has installed, let's go over to done, click on done. Brings us back over here to the downloader, click on delete, click delete again. It only goes and it deletes the file out of the downloader app this way it doesn't bog up your Fire Stick. Click on that home button on your remote. Let's go back over to your apps, or also the three boxes and a plus sign. Give it a click. Come on down to the bottom. Here it is right here. You got the shield. Go ahead and click that three line button on your remote. Click move to front. 
Click that home button again on your remote. Here it is in first position. But sometimes what happens is when you set this up and then you turn off your fire stick and you watch it the next day, what happens is you gotta have to go ahead and re-enable the ad guard so that way it blocks the ads. If you like what you're seeing, click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. This way you know when I go ahead and put up some more videos. Also remember while you are streaming, use a VPN. The one that I recommend is IP Vanish VPN. Great prices, connect up to multiple devices, and you could go ahead and stream safe. I got a link in my description down below. Go ahead and click on it. It'll bring you right over to the IP Vanish page. Go ahead and get yourself a nice good VPN. Stay safe. This way your internet provider does not know what you are doing. Let's go ahead now and click that enter button on the ad guard. Give it a few seconds to go ahead and open up here. Now, once you open it up, it comes here. Welcome aboard. Now you want to come down, highlight, I accept. Send technical, no, you don't want to do that. Send crashes, no, you don't need to check that. And then let's go ahead, click on continue. Click on what else. And here you can read these, protect your data. What else? Let's keep going. Now give it a few seconds to initialize itself. Protection is disabled. All you have to do is press that enter button and it comes up where it says enabling protection. It's that easy. Next, connection request. Come on down, click OK. Now you can go over to the left, click on where it says protection, come over to the right, and you can see exactly what it's blocking. You got tracking protection if you want. Let's turn it on. The more protection you got, the better off you are. Browser security is on. DNS protection, it's on. Just go ahead and check it out. It's fine. Everything is on. This is what you want. Add God VPN. Yes, you can get it. I don't know how good it works, it's, but the one, like I said, I use all the time is IP Vantage VPN. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and click the home button on the remote. So what happens is now, anytime you use your third party apps, like the ones that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's going to go ahead and block the ads. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about ad guard. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.